Hi scrapbookers! Today I'm going to be making two layouts um, and they both use the same technique of like painting a black um, shadow onto the page that incorporates the darkness of a photo. So I got this tip um, from watching a, gen, a crafty Jen Shao, Shao, I think it's Shao video. Um, her video is called Stamping and Scrapbooking number 10 Travel Buddy and Giveaway. So she's got a giveaway going on. You might want to go check that out. But um, this is the layout that I made about our trip to Washington. And I did use some more basic gray stuff because I was pretty unhappy with the layouts I made yesterday. And I still feel bad that basic gray is going away. And then this was the second um, layout. And this layout really stemmed from I poured too much paint on this layout. So I just needed something to absorb it and that worked and then I found the photo so there you go okay this video is slightly better than yesterday's um but probably still not my best but uh go get your stuff let's start scrapbooking um yeah we can do it okay let's go <laughs> it's so not encouraging is it um anyways it's it's real life scrapbooking right here with Katie Scott okay here we go Hey scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott and today I am getting my basic gray supplies back out because the layouts I made in the last video I just feel like are not cute at all. <laughs> I was like super disappointed with them so I'm even hesitant to put up that video but I'm going to but it's not my best work. So anyways I thought I would pull out this, this second city stuff again and play with it. And then I had just watched um, Crafty Jen Scow. I, I'm, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing her name right because I don't think that I am. Um, but she just did a video called Stamping and Scrapbooking Number 10 Travel Buddy Plus Giveaway. And so she used a picture that was dark on the, you know, it had a dark background and then the subject was lit. And so I went to go find a photo that was exactly like that. So I found this one here where my son is like, it's half. So first I'm going to cut that out. And then I've also used a bunch of pictures that we took. This was when we were up in the Washington Monument. So I want to incorporate all of these pictures. And I'm thinking that either they're going to go in a strip across the bottom or a strip this way. But I wanted to try out that technique that she did that she actually said somebody else on the Felicity Jane kit did. So this is like <laughs> the, at least the third incarnation of that. Um, so what we're going to do is cut this photo out. And for the time being, I'm just going to leave a white border on the photo, which is going to be different than the way she did it. Because um, she left no border so that the photo bled right into the background, but I'm just going to leave that white border on because I can always take it off. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just take a pencil and then I am going to kind of carve out where I want that blackness to go. So it's going to go kind of like this. So I'm not going to have quite so much of the black I think as she did. Let's just see how this goes. I didn't get a paintbrush. Should have done that. <laughs> so now is a good time to tell you that I make these videos in real time. Which means that I do no preparation. Yep, that's true. None. I mean, I watched her video. That's about as much preparation as I've done for this one. And I grabbed this piece of, whoops. <laughs> that's way too much paint for that area. Um, let me go get a paintbrush. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I want to do is cover this area. But then I'm going to make it so that... Um, Let's do another 
background so I don't waste all this paint. So I'm just going to grab another piece of cardstock. Um, grab another piece of cardstock. Yep, gonna do that. That's gonna happen any minute now. Okay. I found this yellow that I think will contrast a lot with the black. And so I'm just going to, I don't have a photo in mind, but I'm just gonna take it and, hi kitty. And then I could put a four by six photo onto this page here. So I don't have something in mind, but as soon as I find a backlit photo, that will be my kind of perfect place to, there we go. So there's another one. And then I'm actually going to, on this other one, I'm going to, because I have more paint from this, I'm going to copy kind of what she did right here. And then she did a little cluster in this area where she put some paint. Ta-da. Okay. So I'll probably end up making two layouts. I didn't plan on doing that, but... There's one. Um, yeah, that'll be one. Okay. Now this is like way more than I, and it's going much too far to the edge. It didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. Blah. So I'm already like pretty unhappy with it. It's going to look about like this. And it's making the paper crinkle up. That's bugging me. I feel like let's just go completely off the page with this. Because I went too close to the border there anyway. So I'm just going to take another piece of paper. Just so I don't get my mat completely dirty. And I'm going to go all the way. There we go. And then I'm not going to do the thing, I don't think, down there. But this photo will sit like this. And I am kind of glad that I, um, but I really don't like this. <laughs> but let's just leave it and see what happens. So the other thing she did was she incorporated stamps into those areas. So... Let's try that. I don't really do stamps, but that was her whole point. If she was doing a series on stamping. Oh, let's see. Let's see what I have. I have these. I have, oh, these might work. I actually do have tons of stamps, but I don't really use them very often. I don't even want to go get them. Isn't that sad? It's pretty sad. I just have not a lot of interest in stamping. Okay. So we'll just write Washington. It's going to be kind of obvious from the pictures. Hi, kitten. I don't know as if... <laughs> I don't know. Washing. I don't know if I have enough words. I feel like I have too much going on to even count it out. Washing, yeah, it's gonna work. Ton. T-O-N. So this is a pro cast stamp from the dark ages, like a way long time ago. Washing. Ton. Okay, that looks like I spelled it right. So let's start with that. Now I'm just looking for some black ink. And then, yeah, I super hate this. <laughs> that was 
that. Stamper that ever lived to Washington. Okay. Okay, Kitty. And now let's figure out kind of the bottom situation here. So I might put some more stamps on there, but I do want to see if I want any ink on the, this bottom strip that I'm gonna do. I'm not sure. So I printed these at home, which I don't always do. Come on, Kitty, seriously? <laughs> Get your face right into the guillotine cutter. Ay, ay, ay. I saw somebody yesterday said they live too far away to um, take the cat. <laughs> um, I'm not really kidding. I'm kind of kidding, but not really. I like her, but she seriously is not the most um, snuggly cat. And also she, she's, um, yeah, she's just not the most snuggly cat I've ever had. I feel like she doesn't actually like me. Okay, so I'm going to cut two of those off so I can fit all of these on. Like this. And then I feel like I don't want to use the black underneath here, but I could see doing something like I don't know, a strip of washi or, well, I lied. I'm going to, let's just do that down here. So we got this line and this line. And this is going to be not much. Oops, I'm going to get that on my mat. Darn it. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do some more of these stamps and then I'm going to have to find some cuter stamps. some stars. I'm going to have to find that little thing that you use for stamping. You know what I'm talking about. I think you do. The um, like that acrylic thing. Let me just tell you, I didn't know about that for the longest time. Like I just didn't understand about that. I can't even find it. How weird. wonder I don't stamp very often. Uh, let me look in another place. I have, whoops, my roller stamps, like the date roller stamps in another place. Yeah, I do have some of that here. Here we go. Just a little one though. I'm taking off this little owl. And I feel like I should probably stick him back onto something. Yeah, stamps are just not really my thing. But it's good 
to um, do different stuff from time to time. Don't do that. Hold on, I need that. I need this thing again. So I can get some of these going like off the page. All right, let's see how this craziness looks with the photos. All right, I'm all right with that. And then should we do like one more different kind of stamp? Let's do like these tiny little stars. So we'll have like two different size circle stars going. I know, it's a lot of stars, huh? Okay, I feel like that's going to be plenty. Wasn't there like some kind of a, yeah, there it is, plasticky thing. Okay, so now let's do pausing the tape and I'm back okay so I almost feel like with these it might be a great idea to stick these down well I still like them but then with this maybe layer up some pattern paper underneath there Trying to see which way I like these better. I think this way. Although I kind of like them better this way. It probably doesn't matter a ton. <laughs> Let's just stick them down. So my daughter's been sick for two days, so she's been home. And it's been rainy. It's been cooler than it usually is here in Florida, which is a welcome change for us. We love that. And let me tell you, this last summer was so crazy hot. It was hotter than it, it like, I guess the level of hot was fine. You know, I live in Florida, I expect the summers to be hot, but the length of time that it was so hot was crazy, super crazy. So I don't know if it's just a product of like, I'm getting older and crankier or what, but I just had enough of the heat this year Although this trip to DC that we made in October, we got a nice cold snap while we were up there. So we were, we even had to buy like hats and mittens, which was fine with us. We were super happy about that. Oh, look, kitty fell on the floor. Go, go chase it. Look, <laughs> come on. Here she goes. Okay, so here we go with this. And I was thinking I would want to use these, um, remember? All these Kelly Perky things. So maybe I don't layer up papers underneath, maybe I layer up um, embellishments. But I feel like 
it would be good to have something peeking out from behind that top photo. So this is going to be similar, but not the same as that video that I watched. But you should watch if you haven't seen, because it's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what these say. Fullerton Avenue, Shaper. So I don't want you to read those, so I'm going to um, put them upside down. So you can see that it's like a grid, but you can't really see. We had the best time here. Okay, maybe. This could be the title, like at the Washington Monument. What else I got? No. So this is sort of what I was thinking. Okay, this is, might be it. This it says this was seriously awesome, which it was. We had a great time. We did. This was. Oh, I won't really. Won't really fit. It won't really go up there because this is on like acetate. Okay. I see. Kind of move things around a little. Figure out where I'm gonna stick things. So I usually do this thing where I just stick things down as soon as I figure out that I like them. But if I'm going to, um, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just went to the bathroom, which is funny kind of because I listened to the Scrap Gals podcast and Jen Shao Sh no, I'm sorry. I'm really I'm sorry. Um she said that sometimes she just um she challenges herself to finish her YouTube videos before she can go to the bathroom. <laughs> but I just paused. I think I'm older than she is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is right before we left, so that one might work. Just trying to figure out placement a little bit. I guess I'll put these on the floor. She'll maybe she'll think that's interesting. Okay. I'm thinking I need to commit. <laughs> so let's do that. So anyways, if you have never been to Washington um, and just seen pictures of the Washington Memorial, you might not have noticed that there are crosses on it. 
that's what we discovered. So my son discovered, and um, they there's nothing about it online. And um, we looked. I, I even had Debbie Hodge look for me because her son is a history major, so I figure maybe he would know. And he couldn't find anything. She couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything. But I swear there are um, crosses on this on two sides of the Washington Monument. The side that faces the Abraham Lincoln Memorial and the side that faces the Capitol building. They are both the exact same size. They are both in the same exact place. You can't tell me they're not there. They're totally there. I couldn't really get a good picture of them. Yes, I totally believe that the Masons <laughs> were uh, we're completely behind it. <laughs> what does it mean? I don't know. Except that the Masons really went to town on, um, you know, all of their different symbols that they used when they made the city, Washington, D.C. Like, for reals. It's true. But we asked the, the, um, you know, the park service dudes that were there and they were like, nope, mm -mm, you're wrong. So, okay. But I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm right. I think my son is right more accurately. He's the one that kind of noticed it and I was like, oh my gosh, I think you're totally right about that. So, there you go. So I'm just trying to figure out how I want this to go. Think like that. So yeah, I <laughs> I don't know how else to convince people that it's really there, but it is. I didn't get a good picture of it. It's hard to find a good picture of it. But when a, one friend of mine, one guy that I went to high school with, said when he was in Washington and he looked, he could totally see them too. So. Maybe it's like a colorblind test. But I couldn't see them, like, my son could just totally notice them. I could notice them after he, like, one of them was more noticeable to me than the other one. But after he pointed them out, I was like, oh, yeah, you're totally right. Yes. True. They exist. So I have a friend who's in the, um, in the, what do they call them now? Do they still call them Masons or Shriners or is that the two different things? Anyways, he, um, I think it's still Masons. He's like the Grand Poobah, you know? We saw him. He came to my father-in-law's funeral and, um, and then we went to see him the next day because he was like, he's like a kite, you know, there's like this thing, this kite hobby, where you do um, really intricate kites. So he's into that. He's a very interesting guy. He also plays saxophone and makes wood things, and he's Jewish, so my, um, my daughter is super interested because she wants to become Jewish. Um, anyways... He, I told him about it, and he didn't know anything about it, so I don't know if the Masons are keeping that all hushed up or not. <laughs> I know. I sound crazy. Okay. Where do we want this? This, this way. Here she comes again. And then do my little trick where I cut something in half and then make it look like it's bigger than it is by sliding it under the other thing. I'm sorry about this cat. I'm not just sorry for you. 
<laughs> Sorry for me. Uh, it's true. I like her. I do. I take care of her. Like every single day. Several times a day. And what we're going to do when we go on a trip and my husband has to take care of her. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if the cat's still here when I get back. If he found a good home for her, I'm not sure I would be completely heartbroken. Although I like the idea of having a cat. I'm just not sure. <laughs> I like this one. That's so bad, isn't it? I like her. It's just, I had a cat when I was in high school who was just the sweetest, like, most affectionate, lovey little thing. Boy, I seriously can't get this straight. Oh my gosh. All right. Here we go. It still looks wrong, but I'm going to leave it. Ugh, speaking of taking care of her, yeah, I think she just farted. And she's also under my chair. Okay, let's see what else. What else can I cram on here? <laughs> I don't know. We did write Washington Monument over here. And it just feels like it's missing something. All right, let me do some journaling and I'll be right back. Or I can probably do it with these still on there. Okay, so the last day of our week long trip to DC, we got to go up in the Washington Monument and explore our cross theory. Was, maybe I'll do October with the, one of those little date stamps. I didn't do it. Okay. So there's some journaling. And now I do want to write Washington Monument over here. Even though I've written Washington like 50,000 times on there, I still think I want to write it again. So these look like conspiracy theory letters. down just a little bit.
Yeah, so anyways, there's this guy um, who does a History Channel show. I don't think it's on anymore, but it was called, um, oh, I don't even know. I think it was called Hidden America, and he does all, like, you know, kind of conspiracy theory stuff about the Freemasons in early America. And so while we were here, I emailed him. I'm like, do you know anything about this cross? And he didn't know anything about it. And I mean, like, if anybody's going to know, it would have been him. But he didn't know. So maybe my son did make a discovery. I'll go with that. Wash. Nope, that's the wrong. Washing T-O-N. So who knows? But I seriously, we didn't find anything about it online, which is so weird because you can find anything about anything online, don't you think? I think so. So, um, my father-in-law, you, if you've watched my videos, you probably know my father-in-law passed away over the holidays and, um... Anyways, he's going to be buried up in Washington. So we didn't go to Arlington while we were there. But next time we will definitely go because his grandfather, his namesake, who we named him after, he is going to be buried in Arlington. So that will be... That's pretty cool, I think. It'll take like four to six months, though. Because 2,000 um, veterans die every single day. Something like that. Like, a way lot. This is going to take forever to upload. Hold on. And I'm back. I, th I think they... I've got, like, another light on here. I'm trying to decide if it's helping or not helping. Ugh. I just move it. Yeah, it's giving some weird shadows. Sorry about that. Hold on. Let me just move it. Again. I guess that's a little bit better. Although, I also think it's kind of appropriate because there's weird shadows in this layout, in this photo, which was the whole reason why I did it like that. Okay, Washington. And then let's do Monument in a different letter sticker. This is the same sort of thing, but it's just a different, I think that's going to show up too much. I think we'll do these. These are basic gray. I think I'm going to use these. Oh, that looks better. Yep, it looks about like what I wanted. So I'm not sure I'm getting any faster <laughs> at scrapbooking. I think my old scrapbook room, which we still call the scrapbook room, was just the perfect setup. Why did I ever change it? Because <laughs> my kids started using that room, so. And, I, and it's a good place for them to, you know, hang out with friends and stuff like that. So it's okay. All right, let's see what else we can throw on there. Okay, just grabbing some. So this is write this down, seriously. It's a beautiful, wonderful day. We'll take that. Oh, can you hear her? Do 
this at all seriously down here. Because we're serious. <laughs> Wait, here's more of this. Write this down, write this down, write this down. No. Nope, nope, nope. All right, this is you and me, which it was he and I. Um, she keeps coming up here and I keep throwing her back down on the floor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just trying to get this color in three places. Now I've got yellow, yellow, some yellow needs to happen up here. See if we can get a little, just a little yellow somewhere up here. Oh, this might work. Because we needed tickets, so the ticket will, um, to get in, you, you have to get tickets like through your congressman. True story. <laughs> What else are we missing? We've got purple, purple, but no purple down here. Let's see if we can get some, just a little bit of purple down here. Yep, that's from leftover from the layout yesterday. One of those ugly ones that I don't like. Purple, purple, purple. I think I'm done. I think maybe it doesn't really have any. It's got some acetate elements, but I don't really have any um, dimensional embellishments. Let's just see if I can add anything. This might be cool. This little yellow brad. I feel like the lighting got much worse. Sorry about that. Although I'm not sure where to put it. Let's just try it here. Maybe a little bit over. So I learned this trick from Dora Sander. If you just, um, if you mess up on your brad, it's not the end of the world because you can like, fix it. But you can like mush down the paper so it looks like you never did it. I like to put a piece of tape on the back side of my paper where the brad might catch on something else. Oh, this is kind of cool. This, um, I don't know if this will really work, but this has a map on it. Alright, maybe here. This one I'm not going to put the bread through because I'm not super sure that I want to put it there. And where did I put that tape? There it is. And the acetate isn't going to be as forgiving, I think, as just the paper. Yeah, let's do that. I'm down with that. Mm 
And then I just want to see if there's anything I can get that's dimensional down into this space. A whole bunch of dimensional things in this little drawer. Oh, here. here's a little green um, globe, but it doesn't really. Oh, that's the ticket right there. You can't even see that. My light has gotten so bad. Hold on. Let's put this back over here. You get shadows, but oh, there we go. Man, I'm sorry about this bad, bad lighting. I'm just the queen of making bad videos. Okay, this, <laughs> I guess you're just going to have to trust me. But this is a, um, I'm still, I still don't have my, I still don't have my tripod back. So this is that, like a, a light bulb because he had that idea. So that's perfect. Yay. Okay. And then there's another one here that says how clever. That kind of works too. All right, I'm good with it. Can you hear that cat? It's like messing things up in the other room. Okay. <laughs> yep, that's what she's up to. Okay, so there's layout number one. Let's do layout number two. Okay, so one of the things that was bugging me about this layout is that I didn't, I had, oh, well, I lied. I have acetate here. I don't have any up here, but I was thinking, I, I was thinking I did, but I don't. But I was thinking it would be cool if I had some down here. And then I found this diamond that I'm going to put upside down so it'll look like, you know, looks like the top of the Washington Monument. So I'm just going to stick this under here and then it does double duty because it kind of, um, it looks up, it points up at him. So, ta-da. Maybe we can find one more acetate thing that we can throw up there. Because we have acetate, acetate. Is that what they call it? Acetate? Clear plastic something. Let's see what. Like that. Yeah, time flies because we were leaving. That was our last thing. Let's do that. figure out if there's like a coating on this. There are on some. Now how, I think that maybe I can use this brad to attach this thing. I'm going to have to take that tape off. No big deal. And then use my, I'll use my crocodile to poke a tiny little hole in the top of this. Like this. And that way I won't have to put any tape onto this thing. But I am going to move this probably down. So then we're going to have that situation that I was talking about before. That um, I have to cover that little accident up. So I'm just kind of mushing that back together. It's not perfect. I might need something else to cover that up. I think I will. Taping the brad down again. And now I just need a little, little tiny something up there. If I have like a little circle, 
This is in a circle, but it just says nice. And it's fine. <laughs> I do feel that like that needs a little tiny bit of tape because it's going to move around otherwise. So I'm going to try to put like a tiny little piece kind of underneath. And hopefully you won't be able to see it. Oh, I think this is a fail. Yeah. Fail army. Probably doesn't register that level, but. No, that's not working. Boy, this thing's going to get taken off like 50 times. <laughs> okay, well, suffice it to say, I'm going to re tack this thing down. And then we'll work on the second layout. Okay, I'll be right back. So I felt like I had to show you what I'm doing. So I put the little tape so it goes over both sides of that. And then I'm gonna re do the hole. I don't think I even have to do it. Let's see if this is gonna cover it up does for the most part. Far from perfect. All right, now there's acetate in three places. Woohoo, hallelujah. Put this pathetic piece of tape back on for the third time. There we go. Okay, so that's my first scrap lift of this whole concept of painting on the background. Ta-da! Okay, let's start on that other one now. Left, ta da, and ta da. And this probably needs some more adhesive. Okay, so there's done. Ching! <laughs> yeah, I'm liking that a lot better than those other layouts I did yesterday with all the busy. Um, Pattern paper from Basic Gray. Like that, that looks all right. That's with the gray too. But I'm, I'm, I don't mind that. But these are just like chaotic and too much. They're still going in the album. <laughs> but I don't love them. Okay. Next. So let's see if we can just find in my photo albums that I've, like the photo storage albums, something that has a dark background. So I've got the picture, or I've got the paper. Now I need the picture. Oops. Okay. So again, real time video in which I walk across the room. Okay, now we need something with a dark background. Dark background. It kind of works, but the picture's kind of yellow, so it also makes it look pretty weird. So, nope. Not that. Okay, this one might work. It does have yellow, but it doesn't have a yellow cast. Yeah, I think that works. That's like his first um, solo kayak ride. Now this then goes in the wrong direction. Do it like this maybe instead. And have two. Oh, I don't know. I like it, but then I don't love that. 
But maybe we can just cut this whole thing down. That might work. All right. Let's go with it. So I will just quickly flop that down. That's easy enough. And then up here, I do need something kind of small. This is probably going to be just the ticket. I need it to be about that long. So I just crop that photo right down, and I can just crop it down a little bit more. Ta da! Here she comes again. What am I going to do with her? And now let's see if we can still use that basic gray stuff to um, finish this layout. Yeah. I already don't like it, but I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so now I'm just looking at these embellishments again from that same line I don't think they're gonna work yeah I don't think so so we'll say no this time and these I'm just gonna pack back up into that envelope that I have um, for the basic gray papers and some embellishments. I'll be right back. Hey scrapbookers, so I actually finished the second layout off camera, sorry about that, but I just took the picture and um, put it right onto that block of paint and then I added one sticker over it that's about the same color as the background paper, so like at nine, and I did a rub on, I did some stamping, Ta-da! <laughs> I did a little bit of journaling and you can barely see it, but it's in darker black here. I don't know if you can see that at all. You'll just have to trust me that it's there. You can sort of see it. This is your first solo trip over to the island. Go Mac. And then just see the little... <laughs> and then I added um, just a top, like one of, you know, one of those border strips at the top just because... I felt like it needed it. I didn't do any embellishing on that page and I'm not going to. So there. <laughs> and then um, this is the other page that I made. So I like these pages better than the pages I made yesterday. It was fun to try out a new technique with the paint and doing, um, you know, a darker background and then the black paint. That was fun. Um, yeah, that was good. I got two done. That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye.